Hey guys, and welcome to the Variety Show. Um, I actually want to do a little video on something that is kind of real uh, deep and true to my heart here. Um, first, I'm just kind of just, I just got off work. I'm kind of just chilling in my truck, getting ready to leave. But um, first, thank you guys for following in the comments kudos appreciate that means a lot uh, I want to give a little shout out to Shrek my number one guy there uh, so anyway I mean th this spread this please I mean th this is a real deal thing here I want to talk to you guys a little briefly. I'll try to make it short, not try to draw it on. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about Movember, AKA No Shave November. Uh, th this like really means a lot to me because um, my mom, she passed away cancer, uh, actually coming up on almost four years in a couple weeks. Uh, my father passed away of cancer uh, coming up in <laughs> a few weeks, actually, respectively, November 16th and the 22nd. And my dad uh, passed away of cancer uh, December 26th. So I'm, I'm a very big supporter of cancer research and whatnot so that's what I'm coming to you guys for let's give you guys a little uh, background on Movember or No Shave November um, I, I can't remember fully when it started uh, some guys they separately they started it where basically for the whole month of November you were supposed to just grow a mustache and then it just kind of steamrolled and started going. And uh, it was called Movember because mm, mustache and November. So then it just, like I said, kind of steamrolled. Um, one, one of the purposes of this is it, it started off to raise awareness. It It's kind of like the male equivalent of breast cancer awareness month I in a way um, while breast cancer is most associated with females even though men can get it too um, November is it started off being more about raising awareness for prostate cancer which is a type of cancer that men can get and then it I guess over the years it kind of went and became no more about colon cancer which um, my father I didn't find out until I found him years later uh, I can't remember which it was he passed away I believe of colon cancer at age 48 so I mean, like I said, this really affects me hardcore. But the thing is, is we're, we're supposed to get our caveman on, our, our werewolf, to, quote, frozen, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Um, the point is, is during the whole month of November, we are supposed to neglect, I, I don't want to say full hygiene, but when it comes to shaving, trimming, and whatnot, and anything we would spend on uh, razors, shaving cream, um, waxes, well, not waxes, but uh, like ointments and aftershaves and so forth. Uh, for the whole month of November, we're supposed to just let our facial hair grow and take all the money that we would spend on said items and donate it to cancer research. And, I mean, it, it's, it's for a really good cause, you know. 
and like I said, I'm, me, I mean, I, I, I usually do it all year. I usually don't go with a lot of facial hair up until probably like the last year when I became a grandfather and decided to embrace my inner age with the graying hair and looking more like a grandfather. But I, I implore you guys, don't shave until December 1st. Um, it, embrace your inner wolf man, caveman, whatever. Let it grow. I mean, granted, whatever rates are you got previously, yeah, please, just kind of get under here. Yeah. I, I would assume that would be fine. But, I mean, let, let the mustaches grow, the big, bushy, mutton chop sideburns, your beard, your goatee. Um, let it grow. Anybody ask you, why, oh, why are you, you never used to have a beard or a mustache. Why are you growing one now? Say, hey, it's for a good cause. And they ask you, you can sit there and explain and say, you know what? I'm glad you asked. This is my way of raising awareness for prostate or colon cancer. And maybe encourage them to donate money to cancer research. Um, Susan B. Susan G. Komen, or I mean, yeah, granted that is more breast cancer, but I mean, donate any place that does cancer research. I mean, this is something that needs to be taken out. I mean, they have pretty much almost a cure for most of everything now. Hell, I even see almost commercials for almost a cure for AIDS or HIV now. If they can find a way to cure that or make that non-transmittable, they can find a way to do it for cancer. Please copy the link, repost this, help raise awareness for prostate and colon cancer. Please, no shave November. Movember. Hell, if you're a woman and you see this, screw it. Join in. Don't shave your legs. Don't shave your underarms. I mean, I know your boyfriends or husbands or girlfriends or whatever may kill me for saying that if you guys see this, but do it. It's all for a good cause. And you know what? As much as... I pride myself on having a goatee, a handlebar mustache, a beard. I, I, I don't think I could imagine myself without one at this age. But you know what? The, the end of the month, I'll do another video. And just to show that you guys can make sacrifices by going through discomfort by growing a beard or a mustache or whatever even though it could be itchy and you can sit there and just wander around weirdly itching yourself I'll go through the discomfort of feeling weird clean shaven December 1st I'll shave it all off I mean except for my head because I'm actually growing that out to donate for like locks of love or another cancer facility because they use hair to make wigs. But I mean that, that that's one of the that's that was one of the little slogans also with no shave November is a lot of people when they start going through radiation and everything they they lose their hair. And I, I don't know why, but that was one of the things, since that was a symptom of going through cancer and everything, is losing your hair. That was one of the little taglines is, we grow it because you could, can't. Or something along that lines. Uh, 
Google this. Movember. No shave November. Please, I implore you. Pass this along. Copy the link. Post this on Facebook. Post this on Twitter. Uh, if you have celebrity followers, or if you follow celebrities, challenge them to do it. To donate or grow a beard or a mustache or whatnot. But anyway, guys, I, I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't do this for money. I do my videos for free entertainment. It's just this one's not exactly more entertaining. It's more educational. And it's really for a good cause again. So I will catch you guys later. And again, shout out to my boy Shrek. And I appreciate you guys. And... Uh, if there's anything you guys want to see me do a video on in the future, karaoke, another storage locker, a mystery box, anything like that, hell, go through some of my old videos. I, I bungee jumped and posted it. Anything you want to see me shoot, whatever, mention it in the comments. I'm open to suggestion. But anyway... I'm about to get my butt on the road and get home because I've got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. So, again, love you guys, and I will see you in the funny pages.